first scrimmage of fall coming up tomorrow here in Blacksburg. Now joined by Torian Gray, the defensive backs coach. First off, for you, what are you looking for from your specifically probably young guys tomorrow from the scrimmage? Well, I just want to see how much they've learned and what they take to the field. Mentally, they may not be as sharp, but I'm looking to see who's going to fly around, who's going to tackle, who's going to be physical, and who can make a play. They may not exactly be doing the right thing, but just want to find out who can make a play and have a chance to potentially travel this fall and help us maybe on special teams or in a major backup role. I think a lot of fans right now know the names Brandon Faison and Kendall Fuller. How about some other younger names to know? Well, as far as our true freshmen coming in, I think Chuck Claw, Anthony Chagog, those will be guys in the future. Whether we'll find out tomorrow whether they'll end up contributing this year or not. Um, Donovan Manning and Donovan Riley, those guys have gotten better. I think they're going to continue to get better, and those guys will be in the mix so to be able to help us out this year also. Good. So some names for fans to check out if they come to the scrimmage tomorrow. Let's talk about Brandon Faison and the strides that he's made, a guy that came in in the spring. Why has he been successful early on? Well, he's a natural playmaker on the football. He's make a lot of plays. Um, everything's not always technically right, but he's shown he can make plays on the football. That's why he's been successful, and he picks up things pretty well. So he's still learning it. He's still a true freshman, but um, I like his progress. You mentioned the picks up things very well. You've got to love that as a coach, as a guy that can absorb information very quickly, very early on. Definitely. If a kid has a high football IQ, which Brandon Faison does, Kendall Fuller does, um, those guys that have a high football IQ, they're making minimal mistakes and you know in our position if you make a mistake it's normally a big game for the offense so a young man that's talented you got to be a little bit more than talent you got to be able to cut down on your mistakes because the position's already demanding enough is that a rare quality in a young player well when you expect them to play right away um you know it's a rare quality um for a guy to be able to come in and and play well for you and make minimal mistakes. That's just part of being a, a freshman without experience. But I feel um, Kendall Fuller, Brandon Face, some of the guys who could potentially be able to help us out and hopefully make those minimal mistakes. All right, last question for you, Coach Gray. Uh, some talk so far this offseason about the new targeting rule and hitting with the crown of your helmet. How has that changed how you're communicating to your guys? Well, the NCAA is making an emphasis on it. It just makes me make more of an emphasis on it. We've never worked a coaching staff that taught how to hit above the head anyway. But from a standpoint, you're just telling your players, now be sure that if you are now got a collision hit on a kid, you just want to make sure you, you aim low enough that you don't hit a guy above his shoulders and in the neck head or neck area.